fun. All right, it's yeah. recording now. Wrong father. Hello. Hello. And we're back with these two saying hello. 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 All right, we're gonna be. Start up our own. Uh, Morgan, have you ever heard of To the Moon before? I have. It's been a long time. Okay, yeah. This is one of my, like, favorite games from, like, the early 2010s, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, DJ, where do you want me to move you? Um... The, Sorry. The, I just got my. What are you? What are you doing? I was gonna open up. Um, what's it? The recording. Oh, okay. That then just you know it's faster. What? You just do this. Thing. Um, that's where you. Okay. Voice, Voice memos. memos. I should I, know what that is. I thought we were actually weren't going to record, but we can record. I mean, you all right, we're record, recording. Hello, we are recording. Hooray. One of the many recordings we haven't given to Alan yet. Someday. <laughs> hey, I'm Someday also in that same boat. my recordings will be given to you. All right, let's see here. So if I recall... That's you, Sam. Uh, your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Oh, I was just messing around. I wasn't actually recording you guys say oh. those lines. Sorry. Oh. You're good. Didn't we, like, go to the... So we went to the lighthouse, and what happened after that? We returned here? Yeah, because you gotta make sure you get in there before the old man dies. Got it. Um, Unless you want to, like, fuck around a little bit longer. It's not like his life's in the balance or anything. I mean, it is, but this is a video game, so we, we really shouldn't we, like, look around and stuff? <laughs> Up to you. What do you think, Sam? Whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that we can do. At this point, I think we probably should just go in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you you know the you know the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you guys hear nomming in the background. It is our dog. Nom noms. Watts is me, right? Yes. Ready or not, here it goes. Actually, wait, can I get my controller to work for this? That might make the audio a little better here. Oh god, of course. It would pop it up right over the screen. Ah. Well, Technical Difficulties was the name of this channel at one point. Yeah. Still kind of is. This should be the last accessible memory. Aw, oh, damn it. I was hoping this controller would work. No. Uh, this is gonna be that would be such a sad last accessible memory. Wait, wait. This will be the last, last accessible memory. Damn it, I hope this controller would work. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful timing. <laughs> Dr. Rosalie. Yeah, I, oh, sorry. Alan didn't, oh, never mind. I got Disable it to work. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. Anytime you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. No, papaya, papaya. We lost papaya. Alan. <laughs> No. None of them will ever know what happened. Oh, Morgan, I don't know if we told you, but papayas are code word for can you hear me? Uh oh. So that's why they're screaming papaya. Oh. <laughs> the first time they did that to us, we're like, what? What's a papaya? The beauty is I can hear them, but they can't hear me. There we go. Now, now it's fully dead. Thanks, Aaronet, for fucking up. All right, were we recording again? I see a whole bunch of things lit up. Is my thing working, or are you guys uh, unable to hear me? It's in and out. Yeah. We can hear you. We can we can hear you now. Okay, 
tonight might not be an internet night for me. No, Aww. that's what I was like. It might be. Yeah, we're going to pause the recording until we can fix this. All right. <laughs> we're we've just been recording through all this. Time. You're going to an amusing one. <laughs> Is it gonna work okay. this time? <laughs> it's not. I don't like. <laughs> oh, no, it is. I can see it. I can see it. I can hear it. Yeah. Oh, hey, we can working. see the move again. Yay, we're moving. Woo. Yay, yay. Is it working? Oh. Yep. So this is his last memory that we're going through, right? Yes. Last accessible memory. So we have to like go backwards for memories. Yes. Yep. Oh, I remember there was like a, a woman that he missed a lot. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Or Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> hey! Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Hi, lady. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need it for the co need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't. But you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. Hmm. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry. I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. 
That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to go get giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to lead to a memory, we need an item that is, in a, is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Preparing time! Do nothing. Too late. Okay, yeah. It was flipping orbs. That one and that one. Time to move! Aw. Let's go! Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can't avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. I remember this room downstairs. You remember all the bunnies? No, there was something else. Well, there might have been bunnies in another room. I like how Hannah remembers that since she was there for the last playthrough. <laughs> what the bunnies? Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. This is gonna be fun for you and I, Hannah, huh? <laughs> yep. Hey, that's the best part when you play a game with other people. You're like, I can't wait to see the reactions. <laughs> Yo, and this is a spoiler alert, alert for Undertale. Um, my sister was playing Undertale and she didn't want to finish the game. She's like, oh, I love this game. And she re and she's like, yeah, I mean, I've stopped for a bit because I'm almost done. I'm just about to fight Osgore. And I was like, oh. Oh. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh. And I was like, how do I tell her to keep playing without spoiling anything? And oh, I finally worth, got to it's point. Worth it. Well, and what I did is I was like, she came over to my house and like, hey, you know, you haven't been able to finish Undertale, so how about you finish it with us voice acting it for you? And she's like, oh, sounds great. And she fights Osgore and she's like, what? And I'm like, you have like half the game left. <laughs> it's like you have at least two or three hours of playthrough after this. Yeah. <laughs> if not more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy? Sorry, I cut yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I just realized what you were doing. We were drifting, that's all. Sorry, guys. Yeah. You're good. Jeez, I forgot. Oh, yeah, so we did see rabbits. Cool. I wasn't crazy. Jeez, I forgot to ask him about all these rabbits. They just weren't in these rooms at the time. That they we were not in these rooms. They were downstairs or something. Yeah, they were in the basement and in the lighthouse. That's what we saw in the lighthouse. Got it. This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. I'm gonna slap you. I'm kind of a dick, I'm not gonna lie. What yeah, the- No, Did he hear me? That's impossible. No, in this game it isn't. It's probably just a part of this memory. Or not. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. You slipped a little into Murdoch there. <laughs> no, then, then I stand by my point. Hmm. Murdoch has like a sing-songy voice. It's, it's very like... Oh wait, oh this is definitely a memento right here. Oh, we need more. 
clock a memento? Yeah, the, me- the memento is definitely um, the umbrella, but we need to like collect memory orbs from like other things that are of value in uh, his house, which uh, these rabbits are not of value. Yeah, I was like, oh man, okay, can we go upstairs? How do you get upstairs? Uh, what does it say? It's just, it says no, the not clock us, him. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. Because this is memories. So it's oh. kind of disjointed and there'll be overlapping memories. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, because I'm like, like that. Oh. And with him and he gets to move around. Interesting. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. I booped the cat on the head. Sorry, Sanji. A selection of readings from medical journals. Fresh wildflowers. And the wildflowers are important too. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Don't count, it appears. Dude, they have such a hilarious co worker relationship. A glass bottle like, of pickled yeah. olives. I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. I can eat about like three of them before I'm like, too much, too much. He's. <laughs> So the other thing with, uh, like, the reason why I really liked YouTube voicing these two is mainly because you guys, your, your dynamic for uh, these characters, I feel very much matches how, like, you guys act for Bella and Kingston and Liv and Yeah, I kind of I do. I was just, just <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> I was like, Where Kingston is like, he's not actually a dick, but he's kind of a dick. And Bella is, like, sweet, but is like, we gotta get shit done. <laughs> Yep. A multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes. I agree. Okay, well, that rabbit didn't count. Damn. How do I get to... This game is like a beautiful combination of beautiful and creepy. Does the duck or platypus count? I'm trying to get to him, but he, I can't reach him, unfortunately. Because he totally would if I could reach him. Wait. Can you walk up to the piano and get him there uh, that way? Uh, no, I can't walk up to the piano, it seems. Maybe I can walk through the front door? Nope. Okay, so it's got to be something upstairs that I missed. All right, we check the clock. I already checked that. Is it, oh, no, it's not the chart. We've already got the backpack. Did you go in the room that he's in? Yeah. Yeah, and I saw I found did. the flowers. But... Oh, uh, click on each of the paintings. Okay. Are those paintings? I can't I can't reach that one. All I can reach is this one. So, and it's not doing anything. Okay. Maybe it's the bed. Nope. We already clicked on the bed though. Maybe this bookshelf. Medical journals. The oh, light. here we go. I, I didn't check the book somehow. Ah. The Emperor's New Clothes the by book. Hans Christian Andersen. The thing is, what happened was I looked at it from this end, and it was like, ah, oh, nothing. You can't see anything from here. So. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Mm. Pew. Pew. <laughs> Hadouken! What the fuck was that? What? And that's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. This really is like Bella and Kingston. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, ju- I'll do it from now on. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh yeah, there was a diagonal one. Okay. Um. So I deal is to go to three which let's see here how do i get that to go work properly i don't understand how this puzzle works yeah um you basically try and 
well, you're essentially trying to flip up all the pieces to form the picture. Um, and they do have like an ideal number of moves that you can take to get One. to that. Let's see if you flip that then, too. Aw, oh, come on, Alan. You're full of bullshit. You're too good at this. I mean, he's this is, like, that puzzle this is like my fourth time playing this, or fifth. One of the two. He's also Fair. like a puzzle master. Pass. What are you supposed to do if you pass? Just chill out and... Yeah, it just allows you to keep exploring that area that you're in. It's more to like make sure you don't accidentally go forward without meaning to. Well, it also lets you go backwards in time if you want. No. To the, the beginning. Oh, I mean, you're activating allows you to jump back. Passing just keeps you in the memory that you're in right now. Yeah. When it comes to rain, through is better than on to. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like this these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's going to take forever. Meh. Just enjoy the scenery. Nope. A memory of River E. Wiles. An old stuffed toy platypus. Perry! Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. And it's positive. It's uh, a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal. No, all these paws, things are wrong. But toxic paws. Also, if you put a if you put a fedora on top of it, it becomes a superhero. Secret agent, I believe. Yeah, he's a secret agent. He does more superhero like things, though, right? Like. Yeah, I think. Well, he mainly stops um, Professor Doofenshire. Is it Doofenshire? Doofenshire. Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz. He's Doofenshmirtz. the best. I want a friend I Doofenshmirtz. Him. I would too. Um, I, the world's not big enough for two of you. Also, I'm going to point this out. The platypus gave us two memory orbs, meaning that's a very important memento. Yep. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, is going to watch over us. Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. came just in time to watch us play to the moon. Okay, I'll watch. Yeah, it's mainly so, just me and, um, um, DJ. So, did his okay. wife commit suicide? We're not gonna spoil anything for you. All you need to know is she's dead now. She's dead and she didn't need to. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't understand. 
Yep. Also, he's sad because no one's going to watch over him after his death. So the beauty of this story is it's a very powerful tale, but you're being told it from reverse. Yeah. We, we start from the end, and we had to work our way back to the beginning. This is part of the it's reason like, why I genuinely love this game, is it its narrative is so good, and it works very well for how it reveals things. Sora looks like it was made through RPG Maker. It was. Huh. Wow, it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's also going to be really sad, isn't it? <laughs> I definitely cried when I first played this game. Oh my what? gosh! No. I'm sure I'm ready for this. Uh, where where we where he talked to his wife, where he was like at his wife's graves, and he was just like, I and he was just like, it didn't need to be like this. I'm like, it's like, oh, and thank God it wasn't Doctor Watts because he'd been an asshole about it. Uh, I've generally I've generally cried uh, through from certain scenes in video games. Oh, yeah. If there was, I mean, I'm a the, car baby. I'm a big guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think if the, there was, and you're like, oh my god. Dude, I think the most I fucking cried in a video game was way back when uh, uh, when I first played Gears of War 3 on the 360. Oh, really? What made you cry? One of the most likable characters died and sacrificed himself to save his comrades. Ah. No, yeah, that would that would get Joe. That would get anybody. Mm-hmm. And I played all the games in order, so I knew how much of a likable person he was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I cry very easily at various games. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. I mean, nah, I, 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 I cry more I, at shows now. I mean, as of recent games, like, I can't... I've come close to, like, like, I felt my heart ache in certain points, like certain uh, scenes from Undertale. I felt like my heart yeah. ache could drop. <laughs> but I've never, yeah. but I've never got, but I've never gotten to the point of, well, I'm like, crying i have multiple recordings of undertale where i'm legit crying in there and sam's also crying in there as well yeah, yeah. and then i broke down well sam because... you did the absolute worst thing you could possibly do in that game I know! So, hold, up, hold up that's not actually what made sam cry oh really yeah what made you cry um the hallway and the end the hallway is so emotional. Oh yeah, when you see their happiness, and actually, I will say, rewatching that was far more impactful than my first playthrough. Oh yeah, no, I cried like replaying it with Sam, like the first time. Yeah. I was like, oh god. So I was, I was watching, I was watching Marissa play through, and I'm like, that trophy says Snuggle Champs. Oh. And also the. F- and also, the, the the music doesn't really help either. <laughs> yeah, when you <laughs> got good Fox music. Got, to, well, Toby Fox is is not a video game developer by trade. He is a composer, and it shows. Yes. Oh, not yeah, okay. on the video game side of things. This video game is amazing. But he took video game music to a new level, which I really appreciate. Well, I mean, hell, you can see on YouTube, like, half, like, the video game-based YouTubers will use his music for, like, ad parts and use it for, like, background music now. Yep. It's so good. Absolutely. Hey, what were you doing? Were you actually caring about our person? We, we've got stuff to do. About time you got here, I almost fell, I almost thought you fell off the cliff, you stupid brat. What okay. were you doing? Here's just a small note. Dr. Watts is not actually a jerk. He's No, I know. He is actually a, a good person as well. Okay. He's just a snark. Yeah, he will snark. He is. He's, he's you. He's so he's Ju- so he's so he's Julian. Uh, a little bit. Um he's he will give he's not snarky on other people. He's more snarky on like situations going like, "Oh, this is a trope or whatever" type of deal, pointing out yeah. like that okay. type of stuff. That type of snark. Got it. Mm-hmm. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? 
By the way, I'm very much looking forward to the character that Hannah gets to voice. This is uh, one of the first characters, well, not not one of the first, but it was like maybe the fourth character that I was like, damn it, Hannah, you're a good voice actress. Stop it. <laughs> Any luck here? Big luck. Huge dinosauric. Huh, this place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Broken lighthouse lamp. The guy himself. Yep, he's by himself up here while it's lit. And look. And we got a we got a memory link for it. We got a platypus. Parry the platypus. Parry the memory link. <laughs> oh wait, no, parry the memento. <laughs> That's good, yeah. What? <laughs> We're making Phineas and Ferb um, reference. Uh, why aren't they showing that now? Oh, for what? Like, why you should try and aim for the uh, ideal? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is like the third or fourth one that we've had to do, right? Yeah, this is the third one. Why did they show that now? Not the, the first one. I think it's because they thought the first two were just so easy. That one didn't look. That one looked easier than the second one, dude. To me, anyway. Oh, the second one, they were like, "Hey, you might want to hit this corner here." Hey, we made it to a new life stage. Ooh. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just... Stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. You might need to get a little closer to the mic, Hannah. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River! I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? 
I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow, and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called For River. <laughs> oh, why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. Who is uh, who is this Anya they were talking about? If she, yeah, it's Doctor Rosalind still. Oh. oh God! If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't make that promise after all. Unless. Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know? Oh, that's it. Hoof? You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm headed on. I like the idea that no. Dr. Rosalind goes, I'm too manly for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too manly. That's cute. He's like, I cannot handle these emotions. <laughs> yeah, I emotions are for the weak. Uh, this was written in. Yeah, it's either it's somewhere between 2010 and 2012. I don't remember the exact year, but that's when this was written. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? I mean, look around. Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 with conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. <laughs> Aw, he likes it, he just doesn't want to admit it. That's cute. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen still acts as a memory link. The platypus probably will if you can get it. Uh, I can't, but you know who probably will. I mean, not. I've... Yeah. Okay, the paper rabbit, rabbit doesn't count. Weird. Weird. Oh, there's more to the house. Wait, I better check the piano real quick. I bet the piano's gonna count. Okay, well, at least we got the note about for River. Nope, can't check the piano. So this is uh, a friend that shows up in quite a few memories, if somebody wants to be Nick. I can do it. Okay. Okay. No, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? What if, John? You aren't exactly the right age of piano. 
Uh, Morgan, you're covering your mic somehow. Uh, look at this, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If it means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Thanks, Nick. Pot of mixed dough. Thank you. And Fine. pickled olives. Someone really likes Someone really likes those, and wow, I stuttered because of a burp. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Whoever invented this game, the music gets louder when you get closer. Yeah, no, it's really neat that they were able to do that. Time to prepare this, and... Okay, how do So what's important is a flower pot? Guess we'll find out. So one, I got one. Can't get that diagonal, so I got that would be upside down. That'd be right side up. That would be everything upside down. Dang it. <clears throat> Speaking of which, is the soundtrack to this game like available? I think so. I know Undertale's soundtrack know costs is. as much as the game. <laughs> Undertale's <laughs> soundtrack costs as much as the game. I mean, Undertale, though, isn't that expensive, is the thing. Well, yeah, but both are ten bucks, which... I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's worth it for both ends. Absolutely. I think the game, you get a little bit more value, but partially just because, I mean, Toby has no issue with people having the, the music online and stuff like that. Yeah. But there is something nice about owning the music and yes. paying the artist and blah 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 blah. Um, depending on the recording, some people some people will have all the song, other people will kind of just focus on like some yeah. of the main ones. Uh, let's see here. One, that will flip all yeah. those. Two. Let's see. No, because I put everything there upside down. So one, one, two, three. No. The biggest one that I see is going to be an issue is this right here. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you just flip the right, flip the flip the top, flip the bottom right, and then flip the middle. But that doesn't work, so don't do that. One, two, three. Okay, if I got that, then we'll get only that little corner there. So that's not enough. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. If I got that, then we. Have... Odd to me the flower pot is important. Uh, it's not really the flower pot, but the flower is inside. No, papaya. Oh. Um, papaya. I didn't realize I got cut out. You You're coming me. in and out. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right. Um. One. Two, three. Ah, that one. Green and then the bottom and then the bottom and then flip this flip the bottom okay, line. Hold on. Oh no! Let, just tell me tell me them one by one. So this one I'm on right doesn't now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It would take five, not four. Okay. One. Two. I could just sit here all day with the music for me. I mean, yeah, that's why this one's so much more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So if we. And it's brilliant. It's like happy but sad. Okay. Well... Like bittersweet. It's amazing what you can do for metal. So could I? Look that everything except for that. Wait, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna try it out. Okay. And then I'm gonna get that. Then tilt it. Down. It took a bit. I did it! Yay! Man, we're making so much progress, guys! Woo! Finally! 
Dr. Rosalina's oh. leg. That puzzle was hard. You know, she didn't even put have... up with his shit. She's just like, meh. I have two babies near me. Hey, little children. Yeah, I okay, know. I, guess I know you think that Watts is a baby. It's okay, Rosalind, but he's your co-worker. You gotta be nice. <laughs> I'm not a baby. Yeah. I just I just don't do emotions. I'm a man. <laughs> Look what we have here. The house. She just shows up with, I got my kids! <laughs> <laughs> I bet they saw this clip and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Well, we gotta make sure we add some people in there then. All right, I think, if I remember correctly, Isabel is maybe Nick's wife? Yeah, yeah, she is. She definitely is. Yeah, so the she person was. on the bed was not his wife. What? No, the, the person no, the in the person bed was the... River. River. Yes, yeah, that was... That, Ooh, he said that Sam and wife. I were quite sure was his wife. Yeah, River is his yes. wife. I said Isabel yes. is Nick's wife. Oh, oh Nick is his friend. Oh! Yeah. Remember Nicholas? Yes, yeah. I do. Both of you try to jump down my throat as if I don't even know this story. <laughs> We're like... Uh, but... Um, yeah. So I guess the question is, who should voice if, Isabel? If uh, Morgan's gonna be Nick, then we should probably have somebody else be Isabel. Isabel, I don't believe, shows up a lot, so... I can do her. Okay. Nick called and said I should come. That's all. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? We gathered that. I heard about River. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. I was like, where are we? <laughs> <coughs> Tell her missing. Uh, will she be okay? Also, I want to point out something. Take a look at Isabel's sprite there. See how she mm -hmm. kind of looks a little blurry? Yeah. The more important because the person probably... is to uh, John, the clearer of a sprite they have. And the less oh. important they are, the more faded and kind of distorted uh, sprite they have. Isabel's sort of important, but she's not that important. Mm -hmm. And that was also the same thing you could see with Nick. I just forgot to point it out there. Mm. But River, she remained perfectly crystal clear. Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. Mm. But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. Help, but Tan and I have been barely getting by since the market crash. Oh, I, I'm wrong. Isabel was not Nick's wife. She's married to Ted. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ha! So you are off too, ha! Oh, well, hey, at least, <laughs> at least I was wrong about it in a way that wasn't plot breaking. <laughs> yeah. oh. Roger, what are you doing? Well, what are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. Mm. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. Mm. Oh, but we so do what? know what she'd choose. Exactly. Oh, I didn't realize that was me. Yep. If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. If 
it's what she really wants. I really dislike when your neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? Oh. I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. Oh, that's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. I mean, the book's gonna be a thing. Okay. Yep. Knew that was definitely gonna be one. Oh, oh it's the pickles. Oh, okay. Alright, gonna keep. Scrolling around here. Not those flowers. I feel like things might be inside the house. Oh, definitely. I'm just checking around here first. Okay, what? walking through the truck counted. The truck? Yeah, I and walked they, through yeah, the truck. They walked right through the truck. Oh, uh, dang it. The flowers are trapping me again. No! Oh, no. Not the flowers. The flower power is too much. <laughs> Oh god, not flat. Oh, get the fuck out of here! Let's <laughs> kill and be killed! <laughs> Are no, you trying to I take said, my no. character from me, Hannah? <laughs> Honestly, whenever I do Flowey for my siblings, I'm like, you haven't heard the real Flowey, though. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, everyone. It's me, Flowey the Flower. And I hope that none of you realize that you're about to die. Get the fuck out of here! Actually, it was kind of adorable. My sister got so Flowey. So my sister was like, "Oh yeah, I'll like spare Flowey," and then Flowey's like, "I'll kill your friends," and she goes, "Wait, <laughs> tell me he doesn't kill our friends." It's like, does, like he, does he hurt our friends? I'm like, how do you answer that? And I go, well, I mean, technically he does. I mean, he does technically, and that's why I said, how do you answer that? Yeah. And I'm like, well, Marissa, I guess the question is, is do you still spare him? And she goes, if he hurts my friends, I will murder him. I'm like, that's fair. Oh, okay, here we go. Did you just get two? Yeah, I got two for uh, seeing John at the cliff next to the flowers uh, that he was picking. Okay. Hadouken! That was an easier uh, level to get through. Because the point of that was more the dialogue. Alright. So, can do this one in three somehow. Alan is way better at this than I am. Uh, Sanji, why are you one... attacking my feet? Oh, I know exactly how to do this. Sometimes I hate you, Alan. <laughs> oh, you hate Alan? He hates his incredible puzzle-solving skills. <laughs> okay, Alan's been doing this a long time. It's almost like video games are my major hobby. I caught none of that. <laughs> I also caught none of that. Oh, I was just saying it's almost like video games are one of my major hobbies. <laughs> You're up, Nicholas. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, so you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. The construction's starting in just a few months. 
it's a bit of a squeeze, but we, ha we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. Wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that one house near there all those years ago, didn't you? <laughs> that's not that's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at the get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers! Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to uh, get across a few cities nowadays? That river still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talking about home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how'd she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. I noticed the music just completely changed. Mm -hmm. And like, something's effed up about the rabbits. And also, okay, if I'm piecing the story together correctly, which I probably am not. Like I said, all you have is the ending so far. They had, an, they had so beautiful things and happy things are going to happen on this, uh, on this island, which will make it all the more heartbreaking. It's not an island. Um, it's a peninsula. Uh, on the peninsula, which will make it all the more heartbreaking. Um... They were in the first sign that, like, something good is happening. They're building a house for her. However, something something neurological happened to her, I believe, after... Well, it said the incident, so there was, like, a car accident or something. And yet he still loved and supported her. But as we saw later, like... People are, like, they're like, oh, you should just be nice to her. He's like, no, dude, fuck that. Like, I need her with me. And then she ends up not being able... And then he ends up... Well, we don't know who this other person is. It, it, they, so, yeah, you're my character about said something... Yeah, my character said something snarky about they didn't follow his request. Mm -hmm. But um, Sam's character... I'm not good with names. Rosalind. Um, Watts. So Watts, Watts is like they didn't follow his request. Rosalind is like, huh... Maybe they did. And Rosalind is more of an empath, so Rosalind would make more connections on random things. Um, and those bunnies are fucked up. <laughs> Hence the music. <laughs> but, she, and she, but she did them, right? And now he's doing them. I like that Hannah's so, giggling with me on this, but, uh, about your theory about the bunnies being fucked up. <laughs> Well, something's wrong about them, right? Because the whole music changed. I actually didn't think they were that bad. I actually thought they were kind of sweet. Like, you know, like the Paper Crane story? Uh, where is it like you have to fold like a thousand paper Yeah, there was like a girl in... Oh yeah, like you fold like, a thousand paper cranes and like a wish comes true or something? Yeah, and she, she had like radiation poisoning and she was unable to make the thousand... She died before she made her thousand paper cranes. So now there's a statue of her with like a bajillion paper cranes around her and things like that. Um, there are lots of super like adorable sad stories in Japan, actually, because that's also where you get the Balto story. Not Balto. No, no, what's his name? Yeah. Oh, the dog. <laughs> the dog. Yeah. I cry whenever I think about that dog. <laughs> and they renamed the station and have a big old statue of that dog at that station. Yeah. 
So if we ever go to Japan, it, it's 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 named after the dog at that station. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so. All right, so that's my five cents. I can tell, as I, and I was telling Sam when we when we lost you, this story is already getting me in all the feels, and I don't even know why, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> comment about chapter 4 and Donna Rubber Feet 3 to Morgan and she told me to shut up. <laughs> yeah. Shit. That was a great time. I felt bad afterwards. I was like, no, I was so it's... hyped and now I feel bad. No, it's fine. So it's what I get. So yeah, when it comes to this story, I, I genuinely had to say like, it's interesting how you're kind of sometimes either shown exactly what it was that was going on and you just don't have all the pieces yet to uh, figure that out or sometimes you have a little bit of a misdirect because it looks one way and then it turns out it's something else well you're going backwards in a guy's memory so i mean that makes sense mm -hmm. but here's the even worse part you also are skipping over some things mm -hmm. so we're not getting the full context clues we're only seeing no. big picture we're only seeing like a couple of snapshots All right, you ready to continue? Yeah. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits, day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say like say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get, so, get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, there's something always wrong. <laughs> but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry. We can probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick first visit. A quick visit first. That thing. Yeah, yeah. this is the bartender. And he's just a complete shadow. Yeah. Hey there! Can I get you anything? Hey oh, Can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Uh, I'm sorry. We don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does this mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. <laughs> hey there! Could I get you anything? <laughs> Hi-o! Can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. He just tinkered with this guy's memory. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. 
Thank you, sir. I shouldn't ask, Neil. Oh, loosen up. <laughs> Alright, we got the pickled olives. Um, anything over here? Nope. Can we go outside? Let me know if there's anything you need. Not that. Not yeah. right now. Doesn't count. Oh, oh, you gotta talk to him. I forgot. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure. Why don't you grab a seat? We'll throw down a bottle together. No. Oh. Yeah, that sounds just well. And he doesn't uh, like pickled Sam, olives you're, either. you're breathing a little into your mic right now. Oh, the breathing oh. I was drawing, but I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds just well. Eva, this table disables taste simulation. Now! She won't. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> uh, I'm so gonna get you back for this. Madame. <laughs> So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. <laughs> They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah! I just can't understand how anyone could... Find such things to be disgusting! Take your time. We've got two bottles left. What? <laughs> so I said, hey, that's not right. <laughs> and they totally agreed. <laughs> uh oh. And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? Uh, may I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. <laughs> and freeze. Finally! Dear Lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Wait, don't you dare! Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. <clears throat> Hulk! SMASH! That's for all the pickled olives. Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get I'm... into this, and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. <laughs> Their relationship is hilarious. Adorable, too. Oh, this one's easy as well. Alan... I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's just mean. Look, I know how to read these things, that's all. Such a weird gameplay mechanism too, it's like... Well, considering there's now going to be three games in the series, uh, it is actually kind of like unique, and it is something unique to... It's something that like the series has going through all of the versions. It's it's like a point and click game, but not all at the same time. Yeah. Because uh we have this game, then there is uh Finding Paradise is the second game, and the third game is Imposter Factory. And Imposter Factory hasn't come out yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it. It's it's 
It's just so well written. I can't handle it. I'm loving it. Also, Watts and Rosalind show up in all three games. So if you guys are interested in continuing on to Finding Paradise after yeah. this, I would 100% no, do that. Crikey! Nutcrackers! You are to Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground. And we're standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's freaking skydive! Can't stay <gasps> on here. You can't get off. God, I hate <laughs> it when this happens. One, two, three. I... <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> Woof. By the way, I didn't press anything. That was an automatic thing from the game. But I was almost in time with that. I was like, one, two, kick. Yeah, no, you were you were pretty close. <laughs> and I was like waiting to read my line, and then nah. Uh... <laughs> I also, what I enjoy is this story has an emotional center point of neither of the characters you're controlling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the emotional you, center you, is Johnny and River. And and it's amazing because it's like. Question. Is Anya the lighthouse? Well, you might find out soon. Yeah! What was that scream? What was that? That was an angry you, you should just tell me. <laughs> nah, dude. No, we gotta figure it out as the uh -oh. game tells us. Why? Honestly, <laughs> I didn't... Honestly, I didn't know that was you, Sam. I thought that was DJ. No, no, I, I, knew, it me. I knew it was from <laughs> Sam, but I was like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> got <angry. Yeah. laughs> okay, if you want, I can give you spoilers through text. Just text me. Yes. Okay. Because I don't want to say it because I know some people don't want that spoiled. No, absolutely. Yeah. That's. I want to go on the ride of this game. Whenever you're ready, River. Okay. Why? Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Everything that has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. Yeah. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... We'd be able to see her from the window! In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and, we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Is there anything with the lighthouse itself? Nope. Moving on with our lives. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river. 
she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I think stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh. I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Yay! So I was right. Well, there goes River and Johnny. I was like, I'm like, they never mentioned the daughter, so I'm like, they don't have kids. I was like, who the fuck is Anya? Like, they refer to her as she, I'm like, oh. Hello there, little bonbon. Bon right. bon. A little bunny. Okay, we got five this time. Let's see here. So if I did that, would that have those? Hmm. I have an idea. I'm gonna try this out. Okay. Eventually get that as well. There we go. No hate from DJ this time. Hooray! <laughs> He's finally just accepted. He's moved on um, from anger to acceptance. <laughs> River? Well, here we are in middle age. In the middle of middle age, we'll eventually get to young adulthood and then maybe teen years and all that funness. Fun. But hey, we're making a pretty impressive clip through the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> pretty certain nothing important is going to happen. It's probably all going to be good. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they... <laughs> <laughs> Memory link requires these updates. No, everyone's apparently going live on Twitch. Uh, how the heck did they move this thing upstairs? To, to be honest, their equipment probably would be like in the middle of them working. Hey, we have an update. <laughs> Aww. Like, shh, shh. We see that you're using Aww, Windows. Doctor Watts is a nerd. Who knows? Yeah. But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through this its door. That is fair. I was thinking that actually when he said that. Hmm. True. <laughs> well, that sells it. Moving PLs is a pain in the arse, even if you're, I don't know, a doctor. <laughs> It'd probably take an entire ep <laughs> I take I'm two. picturing a Doctor Who episode where they're just, just desperately trying it. to get a piano <laughs> inside the TARDIS because it's like yep. something super important that an alien can't get. And then from that point forward, the TARDIS just has a grand piano in the corner Which that they doctor reference somewhere. Are you mentioning would probably do that? I think uh, ten. ten would do that. Eleven would I do think, that. Yep. Um. I mean, uh, Baker would 100% do that, too. Um, I feel like all of them would do that, to be perfectly honest. Maybe no, not one you're of the absolutely angrier right. Ones. Yeah. Maybe not one of the angrier ones. Like, maybe Eccleston would be like, this is stupid. Yeah. But if, <laughs> like, Rose doing? wanted it done, he'd probably be like, okay. That is true. <laughs> I want a piano. If Rose was, like, a sophisticated person instead of, like, a, like, working class, if he was, like, some, like, super, like, rich, like... Harris or something. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, I want a piano in there. 
It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside. All this game. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. <laughs> we just said. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Yeah, no, there's it a reason why I said these two characters would be very good fits for you both. <laughs> I love them so much. I also love that this game just absolutely punched you in the gut and now it's cracking jokes about the TARDIS. <laughs> right? Like, this yeah. game just absolutely punched you in the gut. And yeah. now it's like, hey, they probably would, it probably would take like, a t you know, and then there was that one point where like she was feeling sick and you're like, oh, this is heavy. And then it's like, hi, bartender. Oh, you're so getting reprogrammed. <laughs> Anyway, your line. Uh oh, I think I know what where this is going. Yeah, just a box of paper and all that. Nothing important. So what did we pick up so far? Nothing important. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. What are you making there? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for and over with. Carry the, the memento! <laughs> okay, all, so all the music we, they keep playing is a minor and dark version of his song. <laughs> Glad you recognize that. I mean, I, I, not, it's been a hundred thousand dollars, and you can too. <laughs> <laughs> Music majors! I remember our band uh, director uh, made us do, for our final, made us uh, do, um, oh god, what do you call it? He would play a note on the piano and then we would have to write down what it was. That's some BS. You should only do intervals at, at a high school age. We didn't even do that at my high school band. Basically for our final it was like, hey, um, yeah, so... Since we have to give you, like, some sort of written final, we're going to have you uh, read a field card. Because we would do field shows. And at that point, we should know how to read them anyway. It's just mm -hmm. like, it's like, yeah, just follow the directions on the field card and you'll make a picture. And it's like, okay. <laughs> that was her band final. I would charge it. That would have been easy. <laughs> so this is the day she started it, huh? How 
do we get Perry the Memento ready? If only it was so obvious to me. I can't stand you, Alan. DJ's like, shut <laughs> up. You know, I've gotten actually more snarky about it since DJ complained. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> I mean, I, I, um, if I play this game myself, and I probably will, um, I'd be, oh god, at the beginning of the game, we get in a, we, we get in a crash. No, you just run over a squirrel. Oh, we run over a oh, squirrel. Yeah. And then you crash. Yeah. Get into a tree or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> That's foreshadowing. Foreshadowing what? Don't you even... This game reminds me of... There's a, there's a game that we didn't buy on the Switch because it was like... We're like, oh god, we need to be in the right space for this. Um, it's like this kid's sister has like, uh, like some sort some of sort of life threatening illness, and he makes up stories for her, and like each level is a story that he makes up for her, and you're like puzzling through the level as a mm. story. Oh, that sounds like a game I want to play at some point. Oh, we gotta show it to you. We we favorited it. We just said, oh god, this is too much for us. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. Was it that unusually high? Was it that unusually high what and dangerous is it? places? What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> Acrophobia. Uh, fear of heights. <laughs> Oh, wolves, he's afraid of heights. Wait, that's why, uh... Dr. Rosalind Watts is... Had, yeah, that's why she had to push him off the top. Because he's afraid of heights. Aw. I mean, to be fair, it does kind of get, like, a little jarring when you get that high up. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I love it. I, I was at, cool. like, we went to the Sears Tower in Chicago... Bleep. Sorry. Well, everyone knows where it is. Chicago. Yeah, I mean, you, oh, yeah. you can visit <laughs> Chicago and everything. Yeah, and they have that glass... That you can stand on and look down. That was uh -huh. all right. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. I mean, heck, I've been to New York, L.A., Orlando. I've been everywhere in this country except for... I'm trying to think about... What country, country that identifies us? I know you've got lines first. Okay. I'm fine with, a, I'm fine with a saying that we're in the U.S. That's fine. There's 300 million people in the U.S. It's not like people are going to stalk somebody in the now U.S. Now you're one of those 300 million. Actually, it's uh, over 300 million. I think we're like 350. It's the desk drawer. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah. We need to plug in our computer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, then. Oh. Well, you uh, know, while, while you plug in your computer, I think this is a good time to uh, possibly stop this recording and pick up a new one. Yeah. So say okay. goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.